Well, good morning, everyone. It's Lion Oe here. Been asked uh, for surprise some friends to um, to post this video. In essence, I I do a lot of shooting and filming um, out in the open, obviously for commercial and for personal uses. But I always have the the typical people want to see what they're doing, and as, as opposed to him looking over my shoulder, I thought of uh, why not see if I can find a way of sharing the video somewhere else. Obviously, you can't you can't live stream uh, using the Skydio S2 Plus, but I did find a, a way of, of sending the the uh, video stream via HDMI cable to an external monitor. So it worked out pretty well. I've tried it with the iPad Mini Pro um, and also with the Samsung Galaxy. It works just as well with either uh, combination. Um, and so let me uh, let me get into it. Let me show you what I got uh, to make this work. Uh, so, by the way, I'm not being sponsored by, by Skydio in any way, shape, or form. Um, they are good friends. I deal with them quite a bit uh, for work. Uh, we also fly Skydio X2Ds, um, which has a similar type setup, but uh, for the S2 Plus, it was a little bit different. So this is how we had to do it. Um, so you have to split the video that comes out of the iPad or the phone. So I've got this uh, video adapter, which you can buy on Amazon. It's got a USB-C, an HDMI cable, and a regular um, USB cable on it. Um, I bought a 20-foot cable that has a standard HDMI and then a mini uh, HDMI port for the monitor. Uh, it's an Ignook type monitor, it's unpowered, so I'll show you in a second how we connect power to that. Uh, but the advantage of this is that um, I can have the setup all done and then I have 20 foot cable, I can put the monitor somewhere separate and people are able to see what I'm filming at the time. So, so here, here's a connection, pretty simple. You've got the standard uh, Skydio controller, you open it up, you use the supplied small cable, plug it into the back of the controller, then you'll plug this connector into the USB-C port of the splitter. You'll take the HDMI cable, plug it also into the splitter. Then you'll take the device, the splitter, and then you'll connect it to the actual iPad or iPhone, and you can see here, or even the Galaxy. And then you'll see you've got the connector, the connection up here. So now I've got the Skydio app, then you're going to need to connect your monitor using the long cable. Since there's no power coming out from the HDMI cable, you're going to need an external power source. So what I did was I have a small uh, battery pack that I use. That works really well. You tuck it right in the back of the monitor. You plug your USB-C cable into the back of the monitor. The monitor starts here in a second. And as you can see here in a second, hopefully, it mirrors exactly what's being shown on your screen. So, pretty good, works, works really well. I'm uh, pretty impressed with it. I'm excited uh, that I'm able to do both at one time. So, pretty simple setup. If you got any questions or comments or any other uh, types of setup, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like my content. Um, I do post on my YouTube channel uh, some of the flights that I, when I go overseas for work, I typically take um, either my Skydio or one of my DJIs when I'm on my, uh, my break from work. So I look forward to you guys giving me some comments in those videos. I do travel around the world quite a bit, so I hope you guys enjoy those videos. An additional bonus, if you have this set up and you want to display your, your iPad or your iPhone or your Galaxy, Whatever you see on your screen will be displayed on the monitor. It's pretty cool. I've actually been able to see some videos, so if you want to see some videos on your on your iPad, uh, it does the exact same thing. So enjoy. It's pretty fun. It does a lot of really cool things just by using this setup and splitter. So even if you have a phone, you want an external monitor. Um, if you were to use the USB-C cable alone, uh, there is enough power coming out from your iPad or iPhone straight to the monitor and you won't need uh, a splitter at all. Works out pretty good. So thanks, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.